Good afternoon, Andreas. Thank you very much for joining us. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to be here. Now, of course, uh, you're going to be going into a panel debate fairly soon. You're going to be uh, discussing the TCA uh, 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 in an FX market, which I think is particularly interesting. And uh, well, perhaps you can tell us a bit about what you're planning to bring to the table. Yeah, I'm very excited to talk about this important topic, TCA, as this is driving um, very much our investment and new investment process as it's part of our best execution policy and we are looking to improve constantly um, the ability and the performance of our clientele. Interesting. Okay, so um, I mean, one of the things, the main ideas that they're, that they're talking about is creating a, a universal benchmark um, and is it actually a necessity in the FX world? We uh, discussed this broadly and a universal benchmark uh, uh, is a discussion point but for us individual benchmarks will be very crucial that means uh, we are looking uh, for derivatives uh, from a universal benchmark and to serve our particular working flows and uh, the needs of our individual client portfolios so why do you feel that, that is a particularly interesting thing to, uh, why is it does it matter really then what the universal benchmarks are if you already have your own yeah Universal benchmark is comparatively static and which was used uh, uh, from my perspective in the past. We moved to far more dynamic markets entering in various pools of liquidity and there it's essential to adopt with uh, uh, tools like uh, from various providers uh, to be able to have a far more granular analysis. Now, as someone dealing with them, with, with financial uh, transactions, uh, sorry, not financial, with the, with the TCA, uh, excuse me, but uh, someone dealing with the TCA, obviously the, the, the financial transaction tax surely is one that's going to, to have quite a big effect on you. Of course. And um, there, uh, we really need a holistic approach to uh, see the entire value chain in executing the business and to get the right measurement uh, with the help of a sound uh, transaction cost analysis, the balance between uh, tracking error, performance and of course cost and in particular also to avoid cascading effects uh, which could be triggered by the financial transaction tax. Do you think it's a good idea then overall or do you think it, overall, it's dangerous? I'm, I wouldn't say dangerous but uh, I don't favor it in all aspects. It should give an alarming signal to the market to behave in an appropriate way. As such, I find the transaction tax very, uh, very much off the market. It's more a political thing. That's, I think, what a lot of people here are saying today. So do you think that's maybe the biggest challenge in FX at the moment? Or is there something else that, from your perspective, is, is a, a more key thing right now? Financial transaction tax is, of course, a broad discussed. But uh, uh, it's only a fraction of the entire value chain. So what specifically right now are your biggest challenges? Our biggest challenges are really to um, harmonize our um, market analysis and also to go across asset classes and to have not only a holistic but also a forensic approach to analyze our entire uh, um, investment environment via equities, via derivatives, via fixed income and finally FX and FX is also uh, in the past was seen as some kind of well need to have and I, I uh, particular mentioned a different sequence uh, uh, um, in the beginning and I would say uh, FX is increasing in importance. Interesting. Well, I look forward to seeing how that goes, but of course the, the sessions are beginning now, so I'll let you go. Thank you very much for speaking with us, and um, good luck with the rest of the conference. Thank you. Have a good day. And you. Bye-bye.